guys, it's Jessie V, and today I am terrified. I have no idea why I'm actually doing this. I asked you guys about a week ago on Twitter what you wanted to see from me in upcoming videos, and so many of you, so many of you told me to follow a Bob Ross tutorial. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I've seen a lot of them. I've probably seen most of them. I've been watching Bob Ross for a very, very, very long time. So when I heard this idea from you guys, I was so excited, I was like, I'm gonna be the first one to do it. Well, I went on YouTube, and I'm definitely Definitely not the first one to do it. I saw a Jenna Marbles video, I saw just tons of popular YouTubers doing this, and along with a bunch of other people as well. But then I came across a very select number of people who did this, but with sound only, and I was very intrigued by that. And I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, because I feel like that makes this so much harder than it already is. But I'm also really intrigued with what I'm gonna come up with. So I basically went on YouTube and selected a random box. Bob Ross tutorial. I have no idea what the ending looks like. I just saw the title and I was like, okay, yes, we're gonna do this. And I also have a very strange setup here because I have such a small backdrop that I was like, okay, well, how am I gonna film this? So basically, I'm gonna turn this way and paint here and you guys can watch this tutorial in the background so you can hear him and see him, but I can't see him. I can only hear him, you know what I mean? I'm also gonna turn my camera, um, what's this thing called? Viewfinder the other way so I can't see that in the viewfinder even though I can't see like anything anyways I have such bad eyesight so right now looking at myself in the viewfinder I just look like a giant blur anyways <laughs> but yeah be easy on me I barely have any painting supplies here I literally found this canvas in my basement it's a rectangle canvas I couldn't even find a square one like Bob Ross uses so we're using a rectangle today I also have no idea what color she's gonna use because this whole video is gonna be a surprise to me so I got the basic colors you know what I mean I hope he uses at least at least three of these. And then I found some paint brushes. Um, they're mostly really tiny. There's only one that was a decent size, so <laughs> pray for me. I know he uses that palette knife thing, and I don't have that either. I was gonna go to the art store today, but like, we're in the middle of a snowstorm. I'm looking out my window and all I see is just just white. So there's no way I'm driving out there today. Anyways, I feel like this whole beginning of the video is just excuses. I apologize for that. Just be ready. And I know a lot of you guys are probably like, well, wait, Jesse, we're into an art school. Like, aren't you an artist? Aren't you, like, amazing at painting? No. Actually, painting was the one thing that I could not do. I was great at drawing, pen and ink, markers, anything you can think of. Uh, painting, no. Almost failed every one of my painting classes. So <laughs> brace yourselves. Should I have a cup of water to, like, get the paint off the brushes when I have to use a different color? Should I just like go for it? I feel like I should get some water. You know what I feel like? I feel like I'm gonna get paint all over my carpet. Okay guys, are you prepared for this painting to not look anything like his? Because I am. You're gonna have to handle my side profile for a few minutes. Also this easel is ancient, so let's hope it doesn't break. Hopefully I'm not blocking him too much. I'm just, I need to get a good angle here. I want you guys to see the painting, but I also want to see it, so it's gonna be weird. Okay. Here we go. I am actually so nervous right now. Oh my gosh. Annette, let's go on up here and get started. I'm so nervous. I have an 18 by 24 inch canvas up here. I don't. I covered it with a nice thin, even coat of the liquid white. The liquid uh, white makes the canvas wet. I didn't do that. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. So, hey, what, let's do a beautiful little winter scene. It has a lot of warm colors in it. Warm? Okay. okay. Really nice. I'm going to take off today with a little bit of yellow ochre. Yellow ochre. I have some yellow. A touch of bright red. So basically First, orange. We we'll use a two inch brush and just very gently tap it. I have no idea where. Maybe we'll have a happy little sun. And decide what? basically where you want the sun to be. And I'm going to have mine right up here. Is this supposed to be the sun? And just the smallest amount of red. I want it to be a little bit brighter out here on the edges. I want this to be a very warm little winter scene. So I feel like he's painting way faster than me. Now I'm going to wash the brush. What? And we wash our brushes. Is he already done? Shake the brush off. And I'm going to go right into some phthalo blue. Blue? Is he done the sky and already, guys? Oh my gosh, I am not caught up at all. Darker out here than it is up close to where the sun's going to Okay. Go. Just begin working that right up to the color. This is not mixing well at all. Oh, it's a pretty little sky already. Color. It's not pretty, Bob. I'm going to have, we'll have some snow down here. Okay. Snow? I thought we were doing the sky. Already we have a painting ready for the museum. Not mine. I have several. <laughs> I'm such a dark sky. Very gentle. Do you want us to do snow now? Yeah, just get in here and do it. I'm trying, Bob. Is this, are we doing snow now? I'm gonna assume we're doing snow. You don't want to take a dirty brush and go into your light colors. Too late. <laughs> does he, did he say a sun in the middle? There. I feel like I'm in grade two again. Mm, beat the devil out of it. Okay, we said it was 
gonna be a sun in here. Oh, I drew it already. A little finger paint today. Tap the old finger right on there. Okay. He wants me to use my finger? What? And just very firmly, very firmly rub that right in there. With my finger? Bob, would this at least pass for kindergarten? So take your knife and very gently just go zip. Zip? It remains in the canvas. Oh my gosh. Can I at least make some sunshine come down? Maybe there's a little cloud that's sort of floating across there. A cloud? use the old fan brush. I don't have a, fa a fan brush, Bob. I'm actually having an anxiety attack right now. This is your little cloud, so wherever you want it, that's where you should be. Oh, I love that. I'm doing a lot of clouds here, guys. I'm trying to fix my painting. I think we'll put a happy little mountain in here. A mountain? Maybe you don't have mountains and you don't want a mountain in your painting. I don't want a mountain in my painting right now. This knife has a I literally have no idea where this mountain is going, so wish me luck. Really pushing this color into the canvas. Oh, it's being pushed. Guys, if my art teacher ever saw this, I think she would actually kick me out of the school herself. Like, she'd bring me outside and be like, <laughs> leave. Grab this and pull it. Pull what? The mountain? Would this at least pass like grade two, guys? I'm a lazy painter. He's not a lazy painter. He's like the best painter I know. Put a little bit of snow out on the mountain. I'm trying. This is the most delicate touch imaginable. Should I be using a smaller brush? <laughs> this is one of the simplest type of little mountains to make. This is not simple, Bob. It's very easy. It's not though. I feel like he's sitting right behind me and it's kind of freaking me out. All kinds of heavy little things. I hate this. So now we want to create some mist at the bottom of this mountain. So mist? Begin tapping I have to wash my brush first, Bob. Hold on. Very careful. How does he do this so fast? I don't understand. Hold on, Bob. I'm behind on my mist here. You don't want to do that. We'll have a little footy hill back here. A hill? Is this the hill he's drawing, guys? Is this what it looks like? My paint looks like a bruise. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just spilled paint everywhere. I have a white carpet, guys. Oh my gosh. Hold on, Bob. Can you pause for a second? Give me a second. I'm clumsy. What part are we on right now? Oh, we're making trees now. These do not look like trees. At least you have a fan brush, Bob. My canvas doesn't make that sound. You like to play some games. Bob was here to see this. Do you think he'd at least be happy that I'm like, I'm, tr I'm trying, you know? Okay. <laughs> what is this? I'm drawing more snow, Bob. Beautiful blue color. Make a happy little hill. Hold on, Bob. I'm still drawing the snow. Hill after hill. This Where am I supposed to be putting all these hills, Bob? I fall down a lot. We need a tree. Wait, I'm not done the hill. Let's make a happy little evergreen here. No, it's not happy yet. I'm not it's done. Prussian blue. Bob, slow down. Very strong. Bob. Blue there. There's too much paint on my campus! And I'll just use the old fan brush. I don't have one. Back and forth. I just think of making Z's. There's so much paint on my canvas that everything I draw looks like mush. I really hope Ty doesn't watch this because Bob Ross is like his idol, and if he sees this, he's gonna be very disappointed in me. Maybe he's got a happy little friend. A happy little friend! Can I put Christmas lights on here? Can we make a Bob Ross painting into Christmas? That'd be so cool. I'm literally so lost that I'm just like doing my own thing. Maybe a big deer came by her and stepped on him and hurt him a little bit. What? Hurt who? It's terrible to think that every treat is just a future telephone pole. But that is dark. Okay, guys, I'm totally putting Christmas ornaments on my Christmas tree. I think this could be done with a two-inch brush. One-inch brush works. This whole painting has been done with this brush, so... Guys, is it at least, like, 60% close? Like, maybe a 40? If it's at least 40%, I'll be, like, kind of happy. You know what I mean? Please don't let me drink this water. I do that all the time. Whenever I'm, like, painting or whatever, like, I forget this is paint water. I'll take a sip and, mmm, tastes like a great painting. Let's put water in. Sorry, Bob, I'm talking over you. How many trees is he making? Like 35? Woo! Oh my gosh! I'm dropping everything. Hold on, Bob. I'm having problems again. He probably has like literally 68 trees on his canvas right now, and I have two. Oh, mine is colorful, all right. I feel like there's nothing else I can do on this. Should I just stop? <laughs> is this a literal fail video? I think it actually is. Guys, why do you want me to do this sort of thing? Why? I'm gonna pause it. I'm not gonna look. I'm not looking, trying to find the pause button. I'm trying to feel around. There we go, it's paused. Okay. Oh, it's not! Oh my gosh, it's not paused. How do you pause it? Is it paused now? Okay, he ain't talking anymore, so I guess so. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna reveal it to myself here. I know he's not done, but guys. There is nothing else I can add to this painting to even save it a little bit, so I might as well stop. Um, 
here we go. Hold on. I'm not gonna show it to myself yet. I'm just gonna spin this around. And yeah, I'm in like total track pants. I'm I'm a comfy pillow right now, basically. Let me move these things because I'm definitely gonna knock it over any second. All right. <laughs> I'm so nervous for this. This is like the worst thing art piece I've ever done in my life. I hope that no one from my art school sees this video. If you do, don't judge me. You tried doing this, okay? I can't even get this off. Oh. Oh my gosh, I can't get it off. Hello? What did I do here? It won't even let me take it. It's like, Jess, you don't even deserve this. Hello? Please give it to me. So this is my gorgeous painting. Honestly, if I was in kindergarten, I think I would get an A plus on this for sure. Um, this probably goes to about grade three where you get a really good mark and then the teacher's like, what are you? What are you doing? But then again, there are some really awesome abstract paintings in museums that you're like, whoa, that probably took three seconds. This one took like, what, 10 minutes? So I think this deserves to be in a museum. No, honestly, it's terrible. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna show myself what Bob Ross's looks like. I'm so nervous. <laughs> it's not even gonna look similar. I'm looking in the viewfinder. What? What? I'm speechless. <laughs> that is so different. Oh, my, let me just see if I can find a better view of it. Oh, I was almost done. He had like three more minutes. Um, okay, so grand reveal. I think they look exactly alike. Um, anyways, though, I tried. I'm slightly proud of myself. I like how colorful this one is. Like, I am down for the color on this. <laughs> so we're just gonna leave this right here. Let's uh, let it dry and hope that Ty does not walk into my studio. If he does, I'll be like, oh, like, that's not mine. Like, six-year-old Sally was over earlier. Didn't you know I collab with child artists? Um, yeah, so that's definitely a little bit disappointing. Um, I swear I could do better. I actually have some paintings in here that I made for Ty for our one year anniversary. No, it was for his birthday. Let me show you. I feel like I do better when I'm painting stuff from out of my own imagination. And I definitely do more abstract pieces. Like, here are sunset paintings of trees that I did about a year ago, like I said. And this is more my style, like very abstract. Um, right out of my imagination. I've always done very stylized pieces, but yeah, these are paintings that I did. Big difference. I mean, just as colorful. I love using color in paintings, but uh, this is actually my style. I've just never been able to follow tutorials. The fact that this was only audio made it so much harder. But if you guys enjoyed this and you want me to actually watch a Bob Ross tutorial and follow it, definitely give this video a thumbs up and let me know and I can try that. It's probably gonna be a lot better that way, but anyways, this was kind of fun, I will admit. But anyway, so I'm gonna get going now, guys. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!